What's up everybody, it's Vicious here, and I decided I wanted to do this video on Sonic Frontiers Combat, and yeah, let's just go through it. IGN First continues on with yet another look at Sonic Frontiers gameplay, this time focusing on combat. Sonic is up against an all new... This isn't that important, I'm just um, playing it for the music's sake, to be honest. Unfortunately, Sonic's got some new tricks on his sleeve. Make sure to stick with IGN all throughout June because we've got a full hands-on preview and interviews from the developers in store. For now, though, enjoy the combat of Sonic for Tears. Oh, we'll see about that. So... That's homing attack, right? And that's that attack that I was talking about before right in my previous video that only two people seen um but basically this is shadow the hedgehog from sonic 06 right so shadow the hedgehog could do a homing attack and after his homing attack he could follow up with a you know um a series of like i guess you say melee follow-up attacks and it looks like sonic can do that in a much like slower fashion um i don't know what button he's going to be pressing but the, oh yeah i like the look of this enemy especially the eye um, but yeah, that's something that Sonic's doing and it looks like he doesn't lose all of his rings, which is something that um, I like I love that feature in Sonic games. I think I first noticed that in Shadow the Hedgehog I think that's a game where you don't lose all your rings and like instantly when you get hit and I like that So you can dodge in midair too. I do like that um, These animations are like super stiff though like when it comes to like dodging and doing this homing attack stuff. What was that? Right? So check that out. I need to know what exactly he did right there. Did he press a button? Cause that's what it looks like. It looks like he pressed a button and it goes into this, this special attack. Um which is I guess looks like a stronger version of homing attack. Um I like the visual flare on it. Uh, not exactly sure of his mechanics and how it works. Like, yeah, like that right there. Looks super, um, when it's activated like that, it looks a little unintuitive. Like, if he can just dodge and go back that far and has a selection of moves, I think that'd be interesting. But it looks like it's just press a button and then go back that far. This is like a Knights in the Dream move or something, right? Um, so... Sonic just sort of like flips backwards. I don't know if this is a power he's unlocked, but Sonic has never been able to like fly. Um, so he goes back and he does this cool kick, which at the end looks like it's like the same result as doing like a homing attack. Um, I had talked about this in my the previous gameplay that I had seen. Like everything looks like it might as well just be a homing attack. There's that uh, kick. Here's the, the, the kick, the little tornado kick that looks like it doesn't have any animation at all until like the very end. Um, but yeah, evidently it's like a strong tornado attack. Don't know what to make of that just yet. This is all just like conjecture. I guess that's the right word to use. It's a really fast homing attack, by the way. Um, I seen in the other trailer he did like an instant spin dash and I think that's cool. This is cool to me too because it's like combining like several things, right? So in Sonic in Sonic Battle, he can shoot shock waves when he's like in like a spin dash form, right? So when he's like curled up, he'll shoot like a shock wave. And this is something that you don't see ever like in the games or anything. Um in the mainline games that is. And I like that this is sort of like a callback to that. He's just kicking a bunch of shockwaves. That actually looks cool. Um, I don't know if it's dependent on meter or anything along those lines because they're cowards and they didn't show the UI. So I have no, I have no clue whatsoever. It looks neat. Um, it you know so far I'm seeing something that shows promise, right? So. Everything about Sonic Frontiers isn't all negative. I think there's a lot of things that show promise in, in Sonic Frontiers, but, you know, they're not really, like, ironed out. Like, this move right here, slow. Looks stupid. I had to, I, like, got into, like, a... 
not like a volatile argument on Twitter, but I was talking with one of my mutuals and, um, you know, they were talking about how cool this, you know, how cool it was, how cool it is. And I think it looks horrible. Like, it's slow. And, like, that's cool. That what Sonic just did right there is cool. It's very Sonic-like. Uh, do you see, like, the big contrast between uh, doing the kick? All those kicks. And then doing a homing attack at the end. Then going up and kicking the uh, enemy. Like, that was interesting. That was an interesting sequence. But now we do it again. That wasn't cool. Like, whatever Sonic just did was not cool. It wasted a lot of time when he could just do Sonic Tornado from Sonic Ed, um, Adventure Sonic Heroes. And uh, let's go back a little bit. Okay, he tried to do the same follow-up with the Tornado, but it, it wasn't happening. And he got hit right there. Obviously. Breaking up the combat does not wasn't fast like that was not very sonic like that's my bottom line with that move spin cycle looks lame it looks terrible and what's this right here oh, I'm trying to remember what they showed right here okay uh doing homing attack from nothing is cool I will say that homing attack from the ground is interesting. <clears throat> Okay, so that spinning move obviously is a button. There must be, oh my goodness, hold on a second. There must be some type of button that, you know, gives you like a really big move. And depending on what it is, like what direction you press or what other sub button you press, like you get one of those really big moves. And I'm for that. But look at this right here. So I was talking on Twitter and I said that um, I said this to the guy that I was arguing with about like the spin cycle. I said that Sonic Heroes exists and Sonic Heroes has the blue tornado or the Sonic tornado and Sonic just jumps in the air and then he just wraps around the enemy really fast and you know he lifts him up into the air. That's basically what this is but the visual flair on it or the visual I don't know what you want to call it fidelity isn't as cool as say Sonic um Sonic Heroes. Also, really weird. So, um, he lifted the enemy up off the ground, but it did not lift up the shell, you notice. So, he has to do it on the ground. He has to do that weird, like, run around them. I don't like that, you know? And it'd be, so, it'd be different if you could just, like, swiftly run around the enemy, but it doesn't look like that's available, at least not in this build. So I, that's that's an issue I have with it. It's very slow, um, very unsonic like. That seems like something more along the lines like I don't know Knuckles would have or something. And there's these enemies. Look at how much the combat slows down when you run around them too. Like you can only incorporate that into like the very slow enemies, which that's fine. You don't want to tackle every enemy the same. Um, let me say, hold on. Let me give this game some praises real quick. There's at least looks like there's a just dodge um, where Sonic can dodge out the way really quickly, and it slows the game down. I'm assuming it gives them some sort of buff. Interesting. I like how they're leaning into combat. Um, there's definitely potential. I'll keep saying that throughout this entire video. There's so much potential in this game. And honestly, I think mods are going to like make this game really good. Um, I don't trust Sonic Team. Triple homing attack. People were complaining about the homing attack uh, is from Forces. And I'm just like, I think the homing attack looks good. I don't like, you know, when he curls into a ball and how it resembles Forces uh, curl. But, you know, whatever. This is weird automation. Um, I, I'll, I'll say that. What, I, what we just seen was, it looks like you go through, you go through the blue rings and they're supposed to propel you forward um, in a direction you're trying to go to. And I like that the stomp is part of the combo. That's interesting. But anyway, yeah, the blue rings are supposed to propel you forward. And they're, that's some more automation. Like, why can't Sonic just boost all the way up this thing's leg? Why, why is it, like... Oh, well, no, you can't do it. You had to be automated to do it. That's super lame. Um, Sonic just lifted up the leg of this enemy. I should put some of this back on. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, don't you feel so fulfilled? Wasn't that so speedy? That that Sonic did that? No, man, that was that hurt to watch. It hurts to watch the spin cycle. I, I'm not gonna lie. Overall, notice what I'm saying though. Overall, I, I'm feeling more positive about the combat, but I'm just saying like it has potential. It has more potential than anything. But I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh well, yeah. The game, the game is gonna be fine from this. Like, no, I don't know enough. Um, I need to see like some sort of upgrade system because it's an open world game, and as I understand, it's like kind of like RPG. Okay, so we didn't see a hell of a lot of moves, but compared to normal Sonic games, compared to even uh, one of the, like the most coveted Sonic games, um, that th th there's like a lot of moves here, you know. Um, there's a lot of moves here. I don't know the meaning behind a lot of these moves. I don't know if they're upgradable. I don't know if there's ways to make them cooler. But there's a lot of potential here. And I got to tell you right now, this is like a PC buy. You know, I couldn't imagine myself getting this on console with the way it looks right now. Um, this is going to be mid on console. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Just based off of these impressions. So there you go. That's all I have to say about that. Let me know what you guys think.